Hello, let's do symbol number 300. 300 days of symbol, that's amazing. Um, feels like a milestone there. So symbol number 300 for January 15th, 2023. And as always, why should we change? Let's start with Blaze. All right, testing the L in place. I never remember what I like to do here. I think um, Stunk would be good. Why would Stunk be good? That doesn't test the L. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about SL and then I was thinking, oh, I don't know what happened there, but now we're gonna have uh, some creativity. So the L and N could be in place or they could be yellows. So maybe we should come up with a word that uses the L and N in place there. Maybe PL something N G. We could do Pling, yeah. Can't do Bring, which I'd prefer over Pling. Sorry, I am messing up letters today. Bring would not be better than Pling. Um, bling would be better than Pling. But we don't have the, oh, Fling. Fling is much better, that's like a real word. Okay, so the second letter is from Blaze, not the L, probably not the Z. So it's probably the E or A. I'm going to put an E there, and we'll just think of it as an E or an A. Third letter is a brand new letter. Fourth letter is from Stunk, but it's not the N. It could be the S, T, U, or K, though. But let's look at the fourth letter, because the fourth letter has to be from Fling, but we know it's not the L, and we know it's not the N, because of Blaze and Stunk would have had a teardrop in that last slot. So if it's not the L or the N, and it's not the G, because teardrop is not green, then what that means is it actually has to be an I or an F. So I feel like if we were ending in F, it would have to be UF, because we're not going to do... K, F, T, F, or S, F. Those just don't work together. So it would have to be U, F. So it would be something, an E or an A, something U, F. And that doesn't feel like a word to me. So the other option is ending in I. And it could be really any of these letters. Wow, I can't think of anything. Um, like T, I. Uh, can't be Venti because of the N. Could be K, I. That doesn't seem to work. S-I. I don't know what ends in I, but ending in F seems harder. T-I felt the best, or maybe U-I. I wonder if it would be a B here and then U-I. Does that even make sense? Not really. I don't know what goes between the B and the U. B-R-U-I? No. So it would be like A something U-I or E something U-I. But what ends in U-I? It can't end in N because otherwise Stunk would have the teardrop fifth. So like, I'd, I'd love to do something like rerun, but I can't. This is extremely confusing. Um, let me look at it again. An A or an E. S, T, U, or K. I really shouldn't have guessed stunk. I should have confirmed that L second. Yeah, and the last letter can't be an L or an N. And so it's an I or an F. If it's an F, it's U, F. I don't know of any word that ends in UF. I can't think of anything. I might have to do a filler in symbol. Again, because Stunk was technically a filler. <laughs> um, I, I, need, I need some anchoring. I need to know what... I need to narrow down what letter is second, which letter is fourth. So maybe I should do a word that's just like, I don't know, maybe like debug. It puts the E and the U in place. We know the G isn't in the word. And then the B might end up pointing somewhere if the B were second. It's so like if we get a teardrop second, then we know it's the B and not the E. And so if it, if both of these are gray, basically we'll know what goes second. After debug, we will know what goes second, unless it's Z. But we're still assuming it's not Z. Maybe it is Z today. Who knows? Um, but for now, we're assuming it's not Z. And then this will tell me if the U is fourth or not, which will tell me whether we're supposed to end with F, or whether we can't end with F and we end with I. So I think that's a good test word, and I'm just going to go for it because I am i can't think of anything. Well, that's an interesting result. Okay, so we know it's A or Z second. <laughs> I'm going to start with A. 
we know it's not U fourth, so therefore it ends in I. So we'd be like T-I or S-I or K-I. But what ends in I? We also know there's no B. We also know there's no D. I'm tempted to do the same thing, but for the fourth slot. So if I include just an S and a T in this guess, then we'll know whether it's the K, S, or T. So I put an S or a T fourth. So maybe if we end in ST, then what else do I want to test? I can put an A here just to double double check that it is A second and not Z. So if I do something like, I don't know, A, U, S, T, really anything. Um, if I could get more consonants, that might actually be helpful. Like the R. Is there like an R, S, T ending? A, R, S, T. Oh, I could just end in T, S also. I could do parts. Let's do parts. I, I hate doing all these fillers, but I can't think of any word and I just need more information. Two hearts. Okay. So we are something A, something T-I, and we do not have a P-R or S. This is what I was looking at, but at least we've narrowed down a, a few of the letters. Um, we could use an O, but I don't know what, where the O would go. What ends in I? What is going on here? Do I do a guess with brand new letters just to see which ones even go in there? I just feel like this is a word I don't... Uh, oh, never mind. I just thought of it. Oh, those epiphany moments. It's cacti. It's a plural. That is a hard word. That is a very hard word, especially if you never tried the C. I wonder if I was down to cacti after after fling, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I got it. <laughs> I didn't fail. Uh, got it in six, which is still reasonable. Wow, that... Um, what a word for symbol number 300, and also what a mistake to make, guessing stunk. Um, I still don't know where my head was when I thought, oh yes, stunk fits perfectly uh, for here, but um, we got there. It made for hopefully an interesting video, <laughs> and um, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed the 300 uh, days of symbol here, um, why don't leave a like and subscribe?